it's used in uh, by the military. It's on C-17 aircraft, other aircraft. Uh, it's used by the Army and different pieces of equipment. The Navy, they've got it on ships. It's used all over the world uh, for different purposes and it's being sold all over the world. Why would they want to use it on, a, on an airplane? Uh, because it's very light. One mil dry is a thousandth of an inch and it gives you the same protection that 10 or 12 mils uh, would give you of other products. So they got the durability, uh, they got the colors, they got everything they want with just one mil dry. So they don't have the weight to carry that they would uh, like using other products. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they know it's going to be on there for 20 years, which is the life of the craft. Yeah. You know, they'll be getting a new plane by then. Why would you want to use it on a ship? Uh, the, the deterioration out on the ocean and salt water will destroy most products. Uh, but we handle salt water with no problem at all. Testing and, data available for that? Yes. And we, and uh, again, our colors don't fade so quick. Uh, they won't put us on the brass because they want to give the Navy something to do. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't, uh, they, on the ships, they wouldn't put anything on to protect the teak because they want them to be out there cleaning the teak. They had to get bored at sea. But anyway, they use it on all types of different things. And uh, now we're talking to them about using our energy saver uh, on the upper portions of the ship where the heat comes in to the mm -hmm. cabins and so forth. You know, mm -hmm. to cut the heat down. Now, somewhere I learned that it was either on airplanes or on naval vessels that it that they gained in speed, were able to gain in speed and slipping well, through the... the slip on the, on the product is excellent. Uh, and in the water, you can pick up as much as 5% in speed and reduce your, your cost of operation by almost that much. Wow. So 5% is big. Yeah. You know, uh, so... It it's, has a lot of benefits. Besides, yeah. you don't have to do it every yeah. six months or every two years. I've read in some of your literature, Bob, um, that the material has a low surface energy. And if I recall from my college physics, that implies that uh, it's, it's not going to attract dirt. It's not going to attract certain other things. Uh, maybe that's why it's, it repels oil and grease. And water. I'm not. I'm not sure because I'm not a chemist. But well, you got it right. And uh, dirt will not stick to this. Like if you, uh, if you did a swimming pool patio, for example, which they get dirty very quickly, and the hydrocarbons coming out of the air and whatever. Every time it rains, it would clean your patio because the dirt won't stay there. Wait a minute. Every time it rains, it'll clean, clean your patio. patio. Yeah, I'm living proof. I've had it on my patio for 12 years. I've never pressure washed my patio once in 12 years. Hmm. So Because it's almost, it is self-cleaning. Yeah, the minute it rains, it takes the dirt and dust off. Uh, That's you, easy to clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course the color stays, so it always looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, very good. It'll That's even handle dog urine. Dog urine? <laughs> yeah. I got a dog goes out there all the time. I would suspect it handle anything. I understand that uh, acids don't touch it. Yeah, muriatic acid, hydrofluoric, hydrochloric acids won't penetrate this. Sulfur? Uh, sulfur, none of those, no. Hmm. They use it around battery operations and like that mm -hmm. because of sulfur, but it uh, doesn't affect it. Yeah, fantastic product. All right, anything else we can think of to talk about here? We haven't found anything we can't coat other than that polyethylene. And that takes in fiberglass, metals, glass itself, uh, hmm. concrete, you name it, it'll do it. Somewhere I had heard that um, Toyotas had been coated with it, but they stopped coating the was Toyotas. Was it Toyota? No, it was Infinity. Infinity. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Why did they start? Why did they stop? Well, they did it for three years. Uh, At the factory? Yeah. And they got uh, so many complaints from the body shops uh, because when a car would get damaged and they go in and they had to remove the product to recode it, they couldn't get it off. <laughs> and the adhesion was so great that they would be grinding for hours because it was so hard. So they got a lot of complaints back and eventually they, they, they discontinued it for that purpose. That was the only reason. Yeah, too hard, and hard is good. Yeah, 
you know, so. That's that great. Easy. Well, Bob, I want to thank you. I can't You're think. Welcome. I can't think of anything else to to talk about. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank sir. You. Okay, I'm Bob Diefendorf, president of Shield Products. Been doing this for thirty.